This is a rehearsed reading of Big Life by Elizabeth Plant. In this extract, we see Lyrit, 17 years old, Olivia, her sister, 22 years old, their mother, Alison. A twin bedroom shared by the two sisters all their lives. One bed is pristine, the other utterly disheveled. Scene one, morning, barely dawn. Olivia lounges idly across the messy bed. Lo-fi music plays quietly and Olivia bobs her feet to the beat. She is lit only by the glow of a phone screen and fairy lights. After a while, Lyric claws her way back into the room through the window, much huffing and puffing, almost falling. For fuck's sake! Olivia flicks on a bedside lamp, illuminating them both. Big night, eh? Shh. Don't shush me. Shh. Pipe down, little snake. Not gonna hear me, are they? Don't no, risk it. What? Mum snores louder than I talk. Yeah. Why can't I ever get you caught? Okay. Cool. Whatever. Why are you on my bed? Better than mine, isn't it? Shift. Oh, I'm comfy. Bed shift. Little buzz. Give me a minute. Take forever. May as well. Gosh. Lyric flings herself onto the bed, forcing Olivia to vacate it. Such a brat. Olivia eyes the second tidy bed. She remains standing. Front door not good enough for you? Obviously locked, yeah. Yeah, no bird bips. That's why you have keys. Got them. In a rush, were you? Where'd you go then? It's not really your business, is it? I'm your sister. It's always my business. Of course you'd say that. You haven't got anything else on, do I? Sucks to be you. All right, you're on two strikes now. Come on, tell me, Bips. I'm bored, tickless. What's out? Wow, I had no idea. Just suck it, Liv. Put a, put a sock in you in a minute. Oh, you dutty. Oh, you dutty. <laughs> Lyric makes to puff up a pillow, stares at it. Can you turn my pillowcase inside out? was bored. <laughs> oh shit, a pranks mate. <laughs> You've done it to me like 10 years. Not 10. Nah, but all night, babes. Where were you? Nowhere. Because that's not totally suspicious at all. Was someone with you? What's it to you? Was it a boy? Why'd you care? Which one? Which one? Bollocks, I'm not the slag here. Hey, not the pretty one either. Fuck off! Oh, shove a tampon in it. Grow up! <laughs> Look who's talking! <sighs> yeah? What's his name? Like I'd tell you. Like I have anyone to tell. I'm tired, okay? Let me sleep. Your fault for staying out all night. Not like you never. Where were you, though? By the river. Happy now? Bless. How romantic. I'm not saying anything. Is it? How long's this been on then? I don't know. I mean, you do. A couple months, I guess. Get that bloody quiet, ain't ya? I don't just broadcast my whole life, do I? No. So you, you never tell me nothing? I tell you loads. Isaac's just... Isaac! Fuck's sake. Where'd you meet then? Online. Does he fit? Like that matters. Must be fit, or else you wouldn't have swiped, right? So I'd oh, name like that. Oh, yeah, I'm into it. <laughs> Which one is he? Oscar Isaac? Hampstead Wright? Cheeky bit of Newton? Ah, no. Jason Isaacs! <laughs> Gotta be. God, he could catch in my hook any day. Ooh, no one. Come on, juice it out. Let what took you all night? Let me sleep, Liv. Can't go sneaking out for the first time ever and not spill everything. That's straight up against the law. So what was it? Night fishing? Arson? Saucy little wine down, sleep round mine? That's your tactic, mate. Yeah, well, 
never failed, did it? Lyric removes her bra from beneath her shirt and throws it across the room. Olivia looks at it a moment. Oh, my God. You haven't? What? Oh, under the stars. What? Had sex? <gasps> Fuck off, no! Oh, oh, Isaac, Isaac! Fuck off! Lyric hits her with the pillow. Just messing? Bet his balls are bluer than a smurf. It's not like that. He's nice. He's a boy, Lyric. Don't know how to do nice. Well, he does. And he's funny, okay? And I... Ugh, I like him. And it's not what you're thinking, right? Because we're not like that. Oh. So he's, he's waiting for a ring, is that it? Lib, yeah, shut up. You don't get it. All in fucking chain. And even then he won't get you off. Except we're not like that. Look, we're just... All right, all right, chill out. I'm just saying. Saying what? Usual. I mean... You're like... What? Well, you're way behind, ain't you? Or not. Everyone had lost it time I was your age. I don't want to hear it. Classic. I, I really don't, so can we stop? Oh my gosh, you're such a nun. Just because you like being a slag doesn't mean everyone else does. Oh, stop calling me a slag, you slag. Slag is a slaggy word some limp dick Rick came up with for slagging off girls who like a shag. Fine, but I get to like not having sex as much as you do. Just want you to have some fun. And I do. Why do you think I was out with... I mean with me. You know, loosen up a bit. Can't loosen up with you round like this. Lips? Don't say that. Not exactly my fault. Isn't it? Jesus. When do you get so... Oh, yeah, sh shouldn't have said that. I actually can't believe you. Liv, I know it wasn't your... Okay, sorry. I, it just... Doesn't stop it being shit. And you think... That's... That it's not shit for me. You really saying that? But I have to deal with it, right? Deal with... Saying you don't want me here. Well, sorry. I can't help it. It's not. I, you're just... You're always going to be number one in their eyes. Thought maybe now we could have stopped competing. It's never a competition. Tip off, yeah? I'm not being funny, mate, but grow up. Maybe I don't want to. Figured that somehow. Yeah. Nearly 18 though, babe. I don't know how to break it to you, but you're going to have to sooner or later. I thought that stupid tree ass would taught you that. I can still fit in it. No point when... I haven't told you. What? Oh. Flip me sideways. What? Told me what? The... No, I... I ain't saying... Look, you're tired, Dips. Just, just, just say you're tired. Pretend you ain't. Liv? Look, it's fine, Dips. It's, it's fine. Olivia! I'm really asking. Over a dad days ago. He was at school, but trees. Trees got honey fungus. So? Lots of trees get mushrooms. Never do listen to him, do you? Because all he talks about is plants. Yeah, not wrong. But I looked it up. Nothing else to do. And well, roots get buggered, don't they? Like proper goes down quicker than a porn star. <laughs> Cutting it down, babe. Today. What? No. <laughs> no, they can't. That's our tree. It's our tree house. No wonder they ain't telling you. But they can't. It's ours. Have to, don't they? T too close to next door. If it starts falling down. Oh, no, they really can't live. They wouldn't. Trees already dead, Dad says. 
Nothing you can do, sis. But I love it. I love it. Yeah, love's gonna do anything. It's not Disney. Mate, don't patronise me. Can't you see I'm upset? Of course you are, I know. God, they could at least ask. You know you'd never have said yes. Yes, but still, it'd be nice for once. Jesus, Stuart, you sound five years old. Let me be upset, okay? Not like you're dying. It's a tree ass. Not the end of the world. But it is, though. So all I have left keeps me feeling like a kid. Like I have something good in my life. You know? That's not true. We have loads of stuff together. You don't get it. You couldn't wait to grow up. Yeah, and look where that got me. I know, but that's not me. Of course not. We never been like that. Look, being a grown up, it's not, it's not so, I mean, you, you start seeing and I, I don't know, enjoying things different and, and, and that's okay. And like, we know from me, it's no sunshine and lollipop skid, but we'll dick it big time at some point. know that like you don't have to be a kid forever to have fun name one thing that's fun about being an adult sex something i'd find fun yeah yeah um i don't know tax evasion Lyra surreptitiously wipes her eyes olivia sinks onto the bed beside her See, I don't lie, Dips. Growing up is scary and it never, like, never stops being that. And it's a mess, I know. But the more you try and run from it, the more miserable it's going to make you. At least you get to. Yeah? Olivia raises her arm and Lyric shuffles into the hug. Hi. I think you're scared. Try being the big sister for once. You know, I hate seeing you upset, right? <laughs> oh, fight me. I know you love the tree ass. What it means to you. But you're not going to be little lyric forever. I mean, you're nearly taller than me. Yeah, well, you bastard. <laughs> And I don't care for it at all. <laughs> Sleep your mug. Been out all night. And that's why it's hit you so hard. You'll feel better after a lion, okay? Lyric crawls back into bed. Olivia pats her playfully on the bum and reaches for the lamp. Liv? Yeah? Will you read to me? What? Like you used to. Oh, right. <laughs> Look like Dad. Bed you numpty. Mush. Yeah. Fine. Mush. She rolls over, facing away from Olivia. Olivia looks at her a moment, gives Lyric's blanket a gentle squeeze, turns off the lamp. Olivia closes the window, stands gazing out of it with her arms folded. She watches as the sky outside turns from pink to gold to blue. Scene two. Alison, their mother, backs into the room, holding aloft a tray. On it is a cup of milk, a mug of coffee, and a biscuit tin. Dippies! Oi, oi, Summer Lloyd! Morning, lovely! Lyric groans, pulling the covers over her head. Alison places down the tray and considers Lyric, tickling her feet. Mum! Come on, you! Too early, ya! It's well past ten, that's plenty lying! No! 
Oh, no wonder it's always cold in here. You left your blooming curtains open again. You know what it does to the heating bills. Bare hot water as it is, and you know we can't have someone round for the boiler till next week. Uh, Come on, let's have your bickies. Lovely day for it. Uh, Alison collects things from the overflowing wash basket. I might get round to proofreading for you after lunch. So, be nice if you could make dinner and say thank you. Yes? <sighs> Jolly good. Some letters too, posting this afternoon. Just need you to sign. What's birthday card? Oh, just some part-time applications I found. But that too. Mum, I got A-levels. I don't have time. Yes, of course, but... Well, your father and I would appreciate you contributing a little more. That's all. Alison nods at the general mess on the floor. And so out today will you bomb sight in here wonder you can find anything oh i think someone had glued them to your hands where you lot carry on you'll get square eyes you will wear me up baby oh 15 love <laughs> alison puts down the basket clear it love hmm Something I, we need to talk about. I know it's early for you, pet. Figured. Oh. It's been ages since we had dippies. Oh, I haven't complaining. <laughs> Alison sits on the edge of the bed beside Lyric. Not like you're bribing me, Mum. I know, just like I know. About, yeah. Oh. Dad already. I mean... Her eyes flick briefly to Olivia. Sort of. But, yeah. She reaches out a hand for Lyric. But yeah. Lyric shifts slightly away. Maybe we can go out today. Yeah? Just the girls, like we used to. Spice Girl Sundays! Oh, what, Mum? Don't have to be out all night, do we? Nothing wild, pet. Just something nice before dinner. Stop on Baby Spice! Take the dog. Go by Epping, maybe. You always liked it down the river. Hey, you could be Sporty Spice, mate. I guess. No, you don't have to sound too enthusiastic. No, you're more of a posh. What are saying is all? You need some fresh air. Come on, posh spy. I know. And it will be noisy this afternoon. I... Posh! So why don't we... Bye! For sake, shut up! We don't swear! Live it! I'm just... I want to stay in, all right? Petal, it's going to be a lot for you. So you're trying to get rid of me? I never said I want to stay in because I want to see it. Lyric. Nothing's going to take my mind off it. And way to not tell me to the day of. How's that supposed to make me feel, yeah? Must think of a kid if some fucking walk's going to. Don't swear! Well, it's not going to make me magically happy, is it? Or, 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 or fix anything. I'm staying in, Mum. Fine. All right, yes. I understand, Petal. But you know, you can talk to me. Lyric shrugs, goes back to her phone. Alison gets up, retrieves the basket by the door. She kicks at a pile of clothes on the floor. Well, suppose you'll have plenty of time to sort this tip out then? Mm. And have your bickies. Coffee's almost cold. <sighs> have these washed by lunch. Help me with the ironing, all right? Yeah. 
Thanks, Mum. Alison exits. Olivia stands, takes the coffee mug. She sighs, takes a biscuit, sits next to Lyrit on the bed, dips and eats the biscuit. Classic Alison. What? It's just the coffee, isn't it? What, the coffee? I mean, it is. A little bit. Am I wrong? I figured she would have got it by now, that's all. Maybe you should just grow up and start drinking it. Bitter. That's the whole point. Gross. Chuck the bicky. Lyric places the tray between the two of them. Look. She's trying, right? Should try harder. Why does she keep forgetting, yeah? I don't know. I'm not a therapist. Yeah, like she'd admit she needs one. She's not that bad. Olivia dips another biscuit while Lyric drinks the cup of milk. It just feels... weird. I hate when they try and... connect with you. <laughs> totally. Besides, how do you feel, yeah? How'd she feel if... someone's gonna take away her... fuck, I don't know, her wedding ring or whatever? but didn't tell her till just fucking before. And on top of everything else too, it's such bullshit. Right, babes. I get it. I know. She's just... Mum. <laughs> yeah. Did miss this though. Hmm. Nothing beats dippies. Nothing beats dippies. <laughs> End of extract. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Plant and I'm the writer of Big Life, of which you've just seen an extract. Hi, I'm Ruth Ullman and I played Olivia. Hi, I'm Sarah Arger and I played Lyrit. And my name's Jan Strayler and I played the character of Alison.